Welcome back to another mobile centric tips and tricks. My name is Derek and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new rework station. That's right here inside this box. It's the quick 861 pro. It's got a standard 110 volt input and it's power is 1300 watts. It's supposed to be the top of the line for high rubric stations. Today I'm going to put that to the test. Let's get into the video. Let's open it up. Got a nice little instruction manual. It's packaged well. Frame looks very similar to the one that I'm used to using. And I enjoy having this style of stand, be able to store it quickly and have it in the right position when I go to use it. And it also comes with probably a few different size nozzle reducers. These were great, but I prefer the bent nozzles in general, just easier to use. Let's plug it in. Turn it on. What's really quite nice, just looking at it, is we've got channel one, two, cool, channel three, and channel four. We'll be able to see our temperature and our airflow. And we can see our presets here. Channel one is 100 at 30 airflow. Two is set at 260 with 80 airflow. Channel three is preset at 350 with 120 airflow. And channel four, 500 degrees with 200 airflow. So this, so obviously the max kind of more around the minimum, but we can obviously adjust that and here if we just want to cool it down all right you can see right now we've got it in sleep mode as soon as i lift it off it pops out of sleep we're currently on a there we go now we're if we put it in cool mode it automatically starts to drop the temperature and cool it down let's see what other settings we have here we click up we go and we can see what we can see the actual temperature we put the buzzer on or the buzzer off voice off and the voice on and here we can see this different style readouts of the temperature it's quite nice all right for those of you wondering with these tips they go on easy, but once you get this cranking up, it gets too hot to be able to handle with your hand. And sometimes you wanna be able to exchange quickly between the different tips. So this is basically how you do it. it because, it's, because it's so hot, you won't be able to touch it. You stick it right in here, just like that. And you, and you slowly give it a little pull and this will come out. That way you can easily get back to a full nozzle or reduce it down to an even smaller one. Let's try to remove the HDMI from an Xbox. For its first test, let's take off this HDMI. As you can see, it has the factory HDMI. We're gonna take it off as is without adding any low mount solder. All right, I'm gonna set it on channel four, which is gonna give us the maximum temperature with the maximum output, which is basically what you need to remove the HDMI anyway. We'll let this get up to temperature and I'm gonna hit start. All right, so I was able to hit stop around 56 seconds, but it was more like probably between actually starting heating it up 
and it popping off was probably about 45 seconds. From a completely cool board, without any flux, without any uh, low melt, 45 seconds to pop off the HDMI. Man, this thing is still hot. That is, that is phenomenal. As you can see, all of the pads are still perfectly intact. I am thoroughly impressed so far with this Ruby workstation. Now, obviously this could have been removed much quicker if I had used a low melt solder and flux. What's quite unique as well is this HDMI is still in basically usable shape. A little singeing of the plastic legs that pop through the board, but the tongue, there's no drooping in it. There's no melting, no singeing of the plastic. I, I could re totally reuse this HDMI. And it just shows how quick it was able to get it off without that issue. Now, what about putting it back on? So we're gonna do just a little bit of flux across the pins and through holes. No extra solder, just heat from below. back on and the pins are all down. Thoroughly impressed with that. The pins are all nice and solid. Legs popped all the way through. The tongue looks perfectly intact. No, no melting of the plastic. When it comes to the time, obviously I didn't stop it as quickly as I did before, but it was roughly about a minute to put it back on. And again, that's without applying any additional solder to lower the temperature of the factory solder. So one minute to get it back on, one minute to get it off. That's awesome. All right, let's do one more test here. I've got an iPhone 7 Plus motherboard. Uh, a very common repair on this would be the audio IC. So let's see what it takes to pop that guy off. Reset our time here. I'm gonna lower the airflow. And here we go, I'll hit start. Off. Roughly 15 seconds, probably less, much less than that because I didn't actually get on there for a while, but maybe 10 seconds, not even. No pads are pulled, not even the one that likes to come up. Super satisfied with how quick that was. Did you see how fast the audio IC came off that iPhone 7 Plus board? Looking back at it, it wasn't even 10 seconds and it was off the board like butter. I'm thoroughly impressed with this new rework station. It's definitely one that I would recommend especially if you're looking to do repairs that require a lot of heat, like an HDMI on a console. I've had the day to play around with it, and I really like the consistent output of air that it has along with the heat. The nozzle stays hot at the right temperature the entire time, unlike other stations that I've used where the temperature may fluctuate and I can actually see the reduction in heat coming out of the nozzle where that orange glow actually goes up and down and changes and it makes for a more difficult repair. So this one being as consistent as it is, I'm thoroughly impressed. I love the controllability that it has with the four different channels, the cooling function, the fact that I can make it not beep at me, the sleep and wake function that it has being so accurate. It's one I definitely recommend. If you haven't already, click the thumbs up, subscribe for more future videos like this. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.